Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is 845 and we are live streaming from Stuttgart. I'm Katie Linendahl and I'm a journalist focused on technology and I'll be your host for this digital Mercedes-Benz press conference today. You may remember me from CES. I've had the pleasure of working with Mercedes in the past and it's an honor to be joined again this morning. As you all know, the original plan was to be at the Geneva International Motor Show right now. Instead, for obvious reasons, Mercedes-Benz has moved this event to its home turf here in Stuttgart, Germany. And I'm happy to welcome our very first guest, a man that needs no introduction, Ola Kalenia, CEO of Mercedes-Benz. Welcome, Ola. Thanks, Katie. Good morning. Great to be Good here. Morning. Good to be here in Germany. I know plans have changed a little bit, but rightfully so. Yes, of course. We thought we would do this live from Geneva today, but uh, the Swiss, Swiss authorities made, I think, a precautionary good decision uh, to cancel the show. Health and safety is paramount for all the visitors and for our employees. So now we're taking the show digital instead, and I think that's a pretty cool thing. I think it's a nice thing. It's a nice little twist. That a lot of people have coronavirus on their mind and just the impact it's having on the global economy. And perhaps from your perspective, if you could just help us understand how it's impacting, if at all, your business. Well, indeed, we're monitoring the situation, of course, and uh, especially in our Chinese operations, we extended the Chinese New Year, which is usually a week off to two weeks, and we're back up and running in our plants in China since February 10th. Uh, gradual increase of production, working together with our supply partners to get back on track. So it's really a day-by-day -day management situation. What's your personal assessment? of the situation? I think it's too early to tell uh, how far this is going to go. Uh, on a good note is that our international operations so far, even though we have global supply chains where everything is connected, uh, all of those operations have been uninterrupted. And kudos to, to our supply partners and our procurement and supply team uh, to make all of these things happen in this unusual situation. And kudos to you guys for positively continuing to look forward and move forward in a very positive way. And I have to ask, you know, when it comes to Mercedes-Benz and keeping the conversation moving forward, what is on the top of your to-do list and the top of your focus? Uh, there is so much going on right now. And of course, this is the most exciting of times for the auto industry and for our company. And for Mercedes, it's about delivering sustainable, modern luxury. And we will do that through electrification and digitalization. We've been hearing that word a lot, electrification. And we're familiar with it a bit, and we'll go down that path in just a few moments, but digitalization, perhaps you can touch on this and explain it a bit for our audience. Well, this is really a digital revolution that is going on in the auto industry. I would say the car is the ultimate smartphone on wheels. So you have a hard, hardware architecture and you have a software architecture. What we're introducing is, in all our models, the latest and greatest what we call MBUX, so our infotainment domain of that software architecture. All bells and whistles, over the air, downloadable, new features for the customers. And today, we're gonna to present the newest version in the E-Class. Uh, so intuitive, and of course, what you expect from Mercedes, aesthetically beautiful. Aesthetically beautiful, a nice little tease as what's to come in just a few minutes. Definitely looking forward to that, but also the focus too on electric. It is primary as well as the digitalization. It is indeed. We have made a very clear decision at Mercedes. We are going CO2 neutral. So our greater ambition that we call Ambition 2039 is over the next two decades, the whole fleet is going CO2 neutral. So it's a, it's a full offensive on electrification on all our vehicles. Well, smart this year, as of 2020, fully electrical. We're ramping up our full production of the new EQC, electric SUV. This summer, we're launching the EQV, so a fully electrical people mover, and that will be followed up with a lot of plug-in hybrids and mild hybrids, 48 volt systems as well. We had a very cool video from Sweden where you've been doing some incredible testing. Perhaps you can touch on that. Well, actually, the team is up there already now, and they're testing the next electric uh, vehicle that is in the pipeline, which is the EQA that we will show later this year. And if you go up to northern Sweden, you have the harshest of conditions. It's really cold, so you really, you really beat up the car uh, under extreme circumstances. And uh, what I'm hearing is that we got some pretty positive results from the testing up there. Very good. There is a lot going on. I mean, just having this little conversation already. In terms of goals this year, are there some things that you can share? Yes, absolutely. Our product offensive is at full speed. We will show vehicles today, new plug-in hybrids. Uh, we are doubling the amount of 48 volt systems, mild hybrids going from 200,000 units to 400,000 units. The XCVs, so battery electric vehicles and plug-ins, we will quadruple that this year. 
which means this is a very big year for us uh, and a year where we're taking electrification to the next level. And extending the lineup, which I think is a significant milestone. Absolutely. Uh, the new compact Mercedes, they have been a smash hit. We've sold all, more than 7 million in this kind of new generation of compacts. And uh, uh, Marcus, my colleague, he's going to show some uh, really good stuff uh, also on the electrification side on uh, some of those compacts today. Perfect segue. Here to tell us more, as Lil just alluded to, is the new compact plug-in models is Mercedes R&D lead Marcus Schaefer.